Hello, today we're gonna have a look at passive harmonic filters in power systems. Here we have a typical 12 pulse rectifier with disconnected filters. Have a look at the disconnecting switches beneath the filters. The green curves are the currents of the three phases with a lot of harmonic distortions. Now we connect the filters and you can see that the harmonic content is substantially reduced. I will show the basic approach to passive filter design. For simplification, I use a six pulse converter. Therefore, I use my simulation tool and quickly build a six pulse converter as follows. To make the case, I perform a frequency analysis and check the two lowest harmonics, including frequency and amplitude. The green curve is the rectifier current with a rectangular shape. The smallest harmonics are the fifth and the seventh. And this is what we want to focus our filter design on. Here is a schematic layout of our system. In this example, the rectifier on the right side is connected to a distribution network, which is connected to the power grid on the left side by a transformer. For simplification, we leave out the transformer and recalibrate the source impedances to the distribution voltage. From the power system data, we know the short circuit level at the connecting point to the grid. For our example, we set it to 20 kiloamps. For a balanced three-phase system, it is good enough to work on a single-phase scheme. We replace the rectifier diagram by current sources. Each current source stands for an individual current harmonics previously evaluated by the harmonics frequency analysis, plus the base current frequency 50 or 60 Hz. I remove the grid voltage source and connect the source impedance to ground. Without filters, the base rectifier current plus all harmonics feed the power grid. In order to hinder harmonics to penetrate the grid, we build passive filters for each harmonic frequency. It is an impedance with zero value at the frequency to be removed, thus the target frequency only is short-circuited. An easy way is a LC series circuit tuned to the target frequency. If there is a load at the connecting point, there is often also a need for reactive power compensation. The reactive compensation can be a capacitor or a reactor. The compensation element should be used as a component of the filter. Here is an inductive load with the corresponding reactive power. You can see it at the red curve which should be compensated by a capacitor. As, as, as soon as I switch on the capacitor, the inductive load is compensated. In this specific example, the compensation capacitor is 36 microfarad. Now I want to tune the filter to the fifth harmonics. Therefore, I remove first the voltage source of the power grid. I replace it by an open switch. I include the reactor to the filter. This will be the reactor which I will tune later to the harmonic frequency. I open also the load. I disconnect the load and now I add a current source which represents the rectifier. I add also a small inductance, a few, a few microhenry, which may not be even needed. I want to ground the current source as well. It's happening now and I connect the whole thing. Now I want to perform a frequency scan and tune the filter by means of adapting the reactor so that it hits the fifth harmonics. You see this is what you get with the frequency scan and uh, what varies in this frequency scan is the current source and now I adapt the reactor of the filter so that I hit 250 Hertz which is the fifth harmonics. This is where we are now. When I reconnect the power supply side I almost always get the resonance close to the filter frequency. This is dangerous. Therefore I reduce the resonance frequency slightly below the harmonics frequency so the filter is not optimal anymore, but I get more safety margin to the resonance. This is just a short ad for my simulator. Go to www.ecsp.ch if you want to use it. Let's now continue with building my second filter for the seventh harmonics in parallel to the first one. 
I distribute the, comp the compensation capacitor of total 36 microfarad on two filters. I choose 20 micro for the first one and 16 for the second one. So the total compensation at 50 Hertz is still 36 micro. Since I changed the value of the first filter capacitor, I have to retune it to 250 Hertz. This is done now. I disconnect it and I connect the second filter and I tune it to 350 Hertz. This is a seventh harmonic. This is done now. Once this is done, I reconnect I reconnect the source and I connect both filters. Now you see how they work in parallel. So this is now the filter for the fifth and seventh harmonics. Now let's test the whole thing. I reinstall the voltage source on the power supply side. I put it to 14,000 volts. Then I connect all the current sources for the harmonics and for the base frequency. The base frequency was 50 Hertz and I measured earlier that it was 1400 amps. For the third harmonics it should be, for the seventh harmonics it's 150 amps and for the fifth harmonics it's 240 amps. Let's run it. First, with disconnected filters, all the rectifier harmonics penetrate the power system. Now, with connected filters, the current penetrating the power system looks much better. For a perfect filter, we need to consider all harmonics. Also, the load is much less disturbed than before. Let's now run our original three-phase case. First, without filters. And you see that there is a lot of harmonics. On the source side now we connect the filters and you see that the harmonics content is much reduced compared to before so it's close to a sinus curve now i hope i could give you a meaningful introduction to filters reality is a bit more sophisticated there is tons of literature waiting for you